guys, I'm here at Gen Con 2016 with Eric Ling. A, Hi again. An old and new favorite. Uh, there's this new game, Rising Sun, just here announced at Gen Con. It's got your name on it. Tell me about this game, aside from the beautiful samurai eastern miniatures. Uh, how does the game play? Uh, tell me everything that you know. Everything I know. <laughs> uh, well, I know it's a game. Uh, it, so. This is a, uh, it's a spiritual successor to Blood Rage. Uh, okay. So when I was working on Blood Rage, uh, I got so much, I got so much freedom and so much creative freedom to basically do whatever yeah. I want. And I grew up, I mean, I grew up on mythology. I love, yeah. uh, I, I love all these really cool world mythologies and I studied them when I was in high school. I read stories about them as a kid. Um, and I noticed there isn't a ton of big box expressions of those. So, uh, I mean, Vikings was like, Vikings was a clear and obvious choice for me, uh, so I did Blood Rage first. Yeah. And while I was working on Blood Rage, it's like, oh, I had another idea for another thing I wanted to work on, which is which turned into this. Uh, and so the idea is, this is it's the same box size as Blood Rage. It's the same band. It's uh, the same artist, the same producer, the same um, miniature studio. Uh, it's also got monsters, warriors, gods, mm -hmm. but it's a completely different game. Oh, so, really? uh, where, so where Blood Rage has its ancient an uh, distant ancestry in Risk, this has its distant ancestry in Diplomacy. Oh, so it's, wow. a, it's, it's, a, it's a gentleman's war game of... <laughs> Sunset uh, style, right? right? Exactly right. So the, um, it's, a, it's a negotiation, alliance making and breaking, uh, very over the table interaction. So even though there's a bunch of stuff on the map, it's very, it's very much about getting in the headspace of other players. Um, and uh, because I'm also very much involved with the visuals uh, in this as well, uh, this, like, I love, one of the things I love about working on these games is like, it, it feels like a, it almost feels like an auteur project, right? I get to like pretty much get to put my fingers in every, in yeah. every part of it, like develop the IP, develop the background. The IP is the mythology, but it's a twist, yeah. right? It's, it's the way I view it, so it's a little bit more, it's not as scholarly, it's a little more lowbrow, a little bit more like get direct to the combat, sure. more, uh, more magic, uh, more cool stuff. So um, the gameplay is, uh, I guess in the way that I like to do big box games, it's the most, it's a big, big concept, big sprawling concept with lots of cool stuff packed into it. But I want to do the simple, the most simple, most accessible, easy to teach expression of that idea. Yeah. So um, I taught my wife how to play the game in 10 minutes, including setup which makes wow. me really, really happy. Excellent. But the game is complex, it's not a simple game. Uh, it is at least as, it's at least as complex as Blood Rage. Yeah. Um, but I want it to be straightforward and intuitive. So just like everything else, uh, you start the game by telling a story. Uh, the, ancient, uh, the ancient gods, the kami of Japan, have come back from the underworld during the feudal era. Yeah. And you actually like shuffle the gods that we, while you're doing that. They come out one at a time in this particular order. And they, and they were not pleased and they want, uh, they want the clan, the, their divine clans, to remake Japan in their own image. Surely, yeah. So you guys are basically re-civilizing uh, J uh, ancient Japan uh, with your own strongholds and earning favor from the gods. Uh, it's victory points, but yeah. the way that you do it is basically exactly what you expect. So you put in strongholds in the game. You can earn uh, through beating lower honor players than you. You can get, um, and you can do it by virtue as well. Yeah. Uh, which is one of my favorite parts of the game. You can collect these cool virtues, which are actually virtues from the Code of Bushido, um, like righteousness and courage and stuff like that. Beautiful, and yeah. Just by being good to other people at the table. Uh, wow. So it's a, even though it's a diplomacy game with backstabbing elements, you have to be honorable, you've got to be good, you've got to have be principled. Um, and there's an honor track in there, which is essentially the jerk meter of the game, so you can <laughs> visually tell who's been, who's been good, who's not. And uh, the honor track gives you advantages uh, throughout the game. Excellent. So you're actually uh, trying to be honorable, and that that is an advantage for you in the game. That, it is absolutely an advantage for you. Um, now there's there's a little sub thread in there. Of, so if, if if you're at the bottom of the honor track, then you're all right. Well, then there's there are ways for you to play with that as well. There are ways to be a jerk in the game if you want to, but you'll be stuck at the bottom of honor and be disadvantaged. Certainly. Um, the uh, and of course, there's monsters in the game. J uh, Japanese mythology has amazing monsters. I think we have, like, they have oni. They have these crazy ghosts that, like, 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 uh, they like, uh, enter your soul and like make you pregnant with them. That like come wow. out, like, destroying your, uh, destroying your essence 
and come out of like it's crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, dragons and demons and fox creatures. That's all going to be in there. Wow. Are these like random elements that are just going to show up and maybe wreck your day? Or are you going to kind of go out adventuring to uh, to destroy so these kinds of It's monsters? not an adventure game. It is definitely a war game. Like you guys are the daimyo of these clans. So like the, the, the feel I want is like you guys are all sitting around a table. You're all sitting around a table as, as daimyo that um, negotiating about how you're going to split up Japan. Um, and just fighting each other while you're doing it. Yeah. So you have like it's like Blood Rage. It's very very high level. You got uh, you got Bushi and Shinto and Daimyo and monsters on the board that you're moving around. But you're making alliance. You're making temporary alliances with players. That's codified. So like every turn, like there's a, every round there's a tea ceremony where you guys get together and you dis you discuss how you guys are going to ally or whether you're going to go it alone. So and allies perfect. they share uh, they share bonuses throughout their card play. It's so perfect. Uh, I, I'm really, really, really excited about the game. I think it's going to be, but it's like as much as I talked about it, it is pretty. I think it's still pretty simple and straightforward. Any idea when it's going to be released? Uh, it's done when it's done. All right. Um, it's no rush. So I, it's we, we're probably going to do like with Blood Rage, we're going to do a Kickstarter in probably early '17. Uh, I am 95% done with the game, but that last 5%, right? It's like I've made big changes to games that are 95% done. So it's done when it's done. Beautiful. Well, Eric, it sounds great. Thank you again Thank for you, uh, a great time here. This is Gen Con 2016. We're here with Eric Lang. The newest game from Pool Mini or not, at least the newest announcement, Rising Sun. Look for that one in the upcoming Kickstarter uh, Chronicles. Thank you guys for watching. We have more coming from Gen Con 2016.